This year we are honoring two individuals <clears throat> who have dedicated their career to rural America and the region's cooperative movement. These individuals have worked for decades to strengthen electric cooperatives and improve the lives of people in rural America. Our board of directors chose to honor these two individuals with the Eminent Service Award, East River's highest honor. This year's first Eminent Service recipient is Jim Edwards. Jim retired as Chief Operations Officer from East River Electric in 2019 after 20 years of service to East River Electric and its members. He provided a significant leadership role as the cooperative went through many transitions, adopted new technologies, and experienced immense growth. Over the past two decades, East River's load demand doubled from a peak demand of about 350 megawatts in 2000 to, to 718 megawatts in 2019. Jim was a key player in East River planning for and joining the Southwest Power Pool. His planning expertise was utilized as East River prepared for system growth throughout the years. He was also a key contributor to extending the power supply contracts with WAPA through 2015 and countless other projects. For these and your many other contributions to East River and our member systems, we recognize you for your dedication and friendship with our highest honor. We want to present you with this Eminent Service Award. Please join us in congratulating Jim for his decades of service. Thank you. Thank you. It's kind of hard to see that my career is ending, but I do want to thank the board and East River and all the member systems for this award. It's one that I don't really feel I'm deserving because I've told Tom I felt like I just did my job. I just did what I was supposed to do, and I had great employees, past and current, that worked with me, great bosses. My first one, Jeff Nelson, to Tom. So I really feel like I was just doing my job, but I do recognize it was a great career. Um, I can tell you it was 21 years ago. At July of 1998, I was in Eastern Oregon with my wife. We were never going to move back to South Dakota. We left after college, SDSU, had to bring that up, South Dakota State <laughs> University. <laughs> we left and we were never planning to come back. And I remember in July, I opened up the REA magazine. Back in the old days when they used to have job ads, we were advertising for, at Oregon Trail Electric Cooperative for a lineman. I wanted to make sure that lineman, the job was placed there. And funny, right next to it was the advertisement for Assistant General Manager of Operations. Kind of looked at my wife, said, I don't know if I want to move back. And October, we were back. So it was a great career. I enjoyed being here. You're a great group to work with, from the member systems, to the board of directors, to my bosses, and especially to all the great employees. You made, made my job easy. Like I said, I just I was doing my job. Thank you. I want to thank Jim for, for the work and the great person to work with, and thank his wife Rita for being here too. Thank you both. Very nice. Uh, this year's second Eminent Service Award recipient is Greg Hollister. Greg retired as East River's Chief Financial Officer after a combined 39 years of service in the co-op family, with 20 of those years being at East River. Greg dedicated his career to making sure co-op members at the end of the line have affordable and reliable electricity, whether it was Clay Union, Sioux Valley, or East River. Greg approached his job with passion and professionalism. East River offers its sincere thanks and appreciation for your leadership role in overseeing the indenture and other strategic financial functions at East River. For your work on legislative issues, where your financial expertise was incredibly valuable to your work on our safety and health programs and many other aspects of East River, we appreciate your time and talents. For these and many other contributions to East River, our member systems, we recognize you for your dedication and friendship with our highest honor. And please join us in congratulating Greg for his award and his dedicated career. Thank you. I have one correction. I think you missed Traverse Electric. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, my goal was to work for all the East River members before I went to work for East River. <laughs> I got a ways down the road. So. Um, Jim covered things pretty well. There is one difference. Um, he seems sad to be retired. I am happy to be retired. <laughs> um, I do want to thank the uh, East River Board for recognizing both Jim and me today with the uh, East River Eminent Service Award. 
it is uh, truly a high honor uh, for both of us. And some of you have heard me say this before, uh, but I do feel very fortunate that in my mind I had a near perfect career, and I'm not trying to brag. Why is that? Uh, number one, I was able to work in my chosen field for my entire career, but more importantly, because I was able to do that working in the rural electric cooperative industry. Um, this award is just really icing on the cake to, to both of those items. Um, I'm going to be serious for a minute. You guys know I like to joke around and, and uh, be humorous, but um, talking about the co-ops a little bit. And I'm looking at Mr. Nelson down here because I learned through my whole career, but I really learned about the co-ops uh, from Jeff. I'll admit when I started back in 1980 at Clay Union Electric, I didn't fully understand uh, the cooperative business model. And for sure, I didn't understand how the customers owned the business. Uh, it seemed foreign to me. 39 years later, um, I get it. And I get how effective that it has worked for providing power uh, to the members of the cooperatives. And how well all of you in this room have um, implemented the cooperative philosophy. Um, as far as the core business, um, I've always been impressed with how well providing power, how, how well the co-ops uh, provide the power. Um, a high level of uh, reliability and power quality. And I was looking in the um, annual report today, between East River and the member systems, that's not including Basin or um, systems outside of East River, there's uh, almost 50,000 miles of line that are um, constructed and maintained. The number that wasn't in there, and I had to check with Barb Strum, was the number of substations. That's something we could never figure out how many we had, and apparently that hasn't improved. She said somewhere between <laughs> 230 and 250. But probably the more important thing is, um, or not the more important, but the part that I did not understand when I started working for the co-ops is that meeting the members' needs goes beyond providing power. I assumed it was just providing power and the job was done. And it's that part beyond providing power that the uh, cooperatives in this area have also excelled on, and that's basically being uh, co-op leaders. Um, you heard it this morning in the report with the um, economic development work, community development. The co-ops have really made a difference in the service area. It's probably a long-winded way to say I've really been uh, happy and proud to be a part of that uh, process. And I wish you continued success just as much as you've had in the past. So thanks again. It's greatly appreciated.